الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Gastrointestinal tract infections by Professor Mahmoud Hani Suleiman Before beginning this part it is better you study general part again Notabina any disease happened due to travel and this travel was due to his occupation it is considered a work related or occupational disease at end of infectious disease I will make lessons for questions and answers these videos are intended to medical students to be used in training in their clinics and hospitals for postgraduates intended to treat patients in hospital clinics and make their management for both patients and contacts please any question you have just write it in the channel I will try to answer it items covered in this lesson infective agents control of infection acquired through gastrointestinal tract diarrheal diseases viral infections <coughs> bacterial infections protozoal infections helminthic infections the number of important pathogens gain entry through GIT some of these diarrheal diseases e.g. salmonella and shigella while others pass through intestinal tract and lead to disease in other organs e.g. poliomyelitis and viral hepatitis pathogens include viruses, bacteria, protozoa and helminthes coming table lists all infections having this description only some of them will be described if there is disease in your area not described please search for it and ask me to describe it for you viral infections bacterial infections protozoal infections viral as gastroenteritis poliomyelitis viral hepatitis virus A and E viruses bacterial infections like enteric fevers salmonella typhi and paratyphi gastroenteritis Escherichia coli and campylobacter bacillary dysentery shigella cholera due to vibrio cholera brucellosis food poisoning due to many causes protozoal infections amebiasis giardiasis, plantidiasis, toxoplasmosis, and cryptosporoidosis. Nematodes like ascaris, toxocariasis, trichuriasis, entrobiasis, and so on. Cystodes like tinea, bifilobotrium latum, hymenolopis, and hydatid disease, trematode like the fasciola and others. Physical and biological characters that uh, affect infection with gastrointestinal uh, infections. In considering epidemiology of these infections, GIT infections, it is useful to note to observe some of physical biological properties of each infective agent. Organisms vary in their ability to withstand physical conditions I have as high or low temperature and drying. They are also differ in their susceptibility to chemical agents including chlorine. Vegetative form of entamoeba histolytica is rapidly destroyed in stomach, but cyst, from, but cyst form survives digestion by gastric juice. Differences in sizes of organisms are also of epidemiological importance. Thus, simple filtration through a clay filter will eliminate most of large organisms. 
like bacteria, protozoa, eggs or larvae of elements from polluted water, but filtrate will contain the smaller organism as virus. Transmission. Viruses, bacteria, cysts of protozoa directly infect man as they pass in feces, but helminthes egg may become infectious after maturation in soil, e.g. a scales, or after passing through an intermediate host, e.g. tinea saginata. Most important pattern of transmission is passage of infective material from human feces into mouth of a new host, and this is known as fecal-oral transmission. Fecal-oral transmission. Note that all pathogens infect through mouth are excreted in feces. So, note that not all pathogens infect through mouth are excreted in feces. So, guinea worm acquired by mouth but larvae escape through skin. On the other hand, Ova of hookworm are passed in feces, but route of infection is most frequently by direct penetration of skin by infective larvae. The fecal-oral route. Fecal-oral transmission occurs through inapparent fecal contamination of food, water, and hence. Inapparent fecal contamination of food, water, and hence. Three main items that regularly make contact with mouse as illustrated in this simple sketch. Transmission. Note that minute quantities of feces can carry infective dose of various pathogens. Although polluted water may be clear, food contam contaminated may be through free Food contaminated, food that cause contamination may be free of odor or taste, and apparently clean hands may carry and transmit disease. Food occupies a central and important position of the life of mankind. You are eating most probably three times per day or more. May be contaminated. Food may be contaminated directly by feces and indirectly through polluted water, dirty hands, contaminated soil, and flies. So, food contaminated directly and indirectly. Water may be polluted directly by feces, indirectly from polluted soil on the river bank. Hands may be contaminated by person on cleaning after defecation or touching or handling contaminated objects, including soil. We are still discussing transmission. Soil contamination with feces plays an essential role in transmission of certain helminths, which must undergo a period of maturation before becoming infectious, e.g. a scars. Filth flies, in particular house fly, spread fecal material and play a role in transmission of GIT infections. House fly mechanically transfers fecal pollution by three methods, either carrying feces on its hairy limbs, regurgitating contents of its stomach onto solid food to liquefy it, the so-called vomit drop. Third, defecating on food. Its feces may contain surviving organisms derived from human feces. So, three methods of house fly to contaminate food. Carrying, regurgitating, and defecating. Epidemic patterns in relation to mode of transmission of foodborne disease. Some of infections that are acquired through GIT occur in epidemic form, e.g. typhoid. Pattern of an epidemic affected by route of transmission. First, a waterborne epidemic is typically explosive. Waterborne epidemic explosive. It may affect people over a wide area, 
that have no other traceable connection but use of same water supply. Foodborne outbreak is more localized. Foodborne localized affecting persons from some household or boarding institution, those who feed communally at a hotel, restaurant, aeroplane, or staff canteen. Host factors affecting foodborne disease. Certain non-specific factors in host help preventing infection through GIT. High acid content and antibacterial lysozyme in stomach and digestive juice in upper part of intestinal tract destroy some infective organism. More significant is a specific immunity derived from previous infections or from artificial immunization. Immunity related to specific antibodies in sera of those previously infected or artificially immunized. Intestinal mucosa may acquire resistance to pathogens as cholera or polio. This local resistance mediated through immunoglobulins A secreted by mucosa, intestinal mucosa, like case of polio and cholera, carry local resistance, immunoglobulin A secreted by mucosa. Control can operate on each of three components of infection. On the infective agent, control can be due by sanitary disposal of feces and elimination of human and animal reservoir. Control uh, operates through route of transmission by provision of safe water supply, protection of food from contamination, control of flies, improvement of personal hygiene. Ca control can, ca uh, can act through host by specific immunization, chemoprophylaxis, and specific treatment. Control can be taken on the level of individual, family, and community. وفي النهاية لا أجد إلا أن أقول الحمد لله رب العالمين و thank you for your good listening.